Hello, and welcome to another Simmons Insights tutorial. Today we're going to be covering Crosstab, specifically Smart Search. If you haven't already defaulted to this page, simply go to Essentials and click on Crosstab. A Crosstab, or Crosstabulation, creates a chart that can be read both horizontally and vertically to compare various data. There are two ways to generate a Crosstab, but today I will be covering Smart Search, as it is the recommended way of searching. Begin by selecting which data set you are interested in. For many, the default data set, this right here, is just fine. However, you can also choose from something more specific. Next, type in your search parameters for one axis and click either columns or rows, depending on where you'd like it to be placed. I'm going to search football and see that there are many options. If you see one in red, you click on it, it shows you more specific under topics. So the first one, football viewed last month, then breaks down into what type or what show you are viewing the football on. So let's say ESPN Monday Night FN NFL Countdown. And we're going to put that as a column. Say we want to learn more about these people who are watching ESPN Monday Night NFL Countdown, and especially in relation to how many dogs they have, or, or if they have one dog. So dogs one, or we can do dogs, and say that we want to know if they have any dogs, we can do dogs two to three, and dogs four. And to select multiple here, like you see, if you're on Mac, you hold down Command, if you're on PC, hold down Control. And then I'm going to hit OR, because I want them to be any of these things, and we're going to hit rows. If you forget, where you've already placed your first data selection. You can see over here on grid, it says columns, and then it says what's in the column, and you also see rows, and you see what's in the rows. Now we're going to hit the arrow to generate, and you'll see all this data, but you can't really see this part. So if you go over to chart type and click on cross tab view, you'll see it expanded more, or if you had more columns, you could click quad view. Or perhaps even see the trends in relation to um, another study. Now the important thing to note here is that you can always export it to Excel which gives you an even clearer view of the data and it also allows you to share it with others. So I just exported it to Excel and you can see here that it has the name, uh, the date, and, and the graphs here still in color. I think that's it. Um, feel free to reach out to MU Libraries, specifically the Journalism Library has some people who um, would be highly informed and would be able to help you find that information. Thank you. I hope this was helpful.